love you. I thank you. I 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 love you. I thank you. Dr. Brahm Singh is one of our Noni family members who was recently conferred with the highest civilian award of Indian government, Bhatma Shri, for his contribution in the areas of science and engineering for the year 2014. Bhatma Shri is the fourth highest civilian award in the Republic of India after the Bharat Ratna. Batma Awards were instituted in 1954 and so far 2,679 eminent sons of India are awarded this Batma Shri. Noni family is proud of him. Sir, we are really, really proud of you. And like to express our happiness, extend their heartfelt felicitations and greetings to him for his great achievement. Dr. Brahma Singh is a product of GB Plan University, Agriculture and Technology, Pantnagar, one of the highest seats of agriculture education in India and holds PhD, which he earned in 1970. Dr. Brahm Singh hails from Muzaffar Nagar, Uttar Pradesh, India. He is 72 years young, 72 years young, and actively participates in all Noni family functions. He is advisor and member of the Research Advisory Board of World Noni Research Foundation. His contribution to research and development on Noni is noteworthy and we are very grateful to him for his contribution. He is also a joint secretary of the International Society for Noni Science founded in 2010 at Chennai. During his tenure of research service, he has occupied a number of coveted positions is the illustrious agricultural scientist of defense, DRDO, since 1974, and was the director of two research laboratories of defense research and development organizations, DRDO, and technical director of eight life science laboratories of DRDO headquarters, New Delhi. After retirement in 2001, he was emeritus scientist at DRDO, general manager, Uttaranchal Third Development Corporation, Pannagar, an officer on special duty, Rashtrapati Bhavan, New Delhi. He had the privilege of working with Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, former president of India. <laughs> he is a recipient of number of prestigious awards and recognitions from various corners of India, including the present Bhatmashri Award, to mention a few, Indira Priyadarshini, Vriksha Mitra Award by the Ministry of Forest and Environment, Government of India, and APSI, International Plant Scientist Award, and HSI, Shiv Shakti Award, and so on and so on. He is a fellow of several prestigious scientific academies in the country. To mention a few, he is a fellow of Indian Association of Food Scientists and Technologists India, Indian Society of Vegetable Sciences, BioWord Society, and National Academy of Agriculture Sciences, National Academy of Biological Sciences, and member of Indian Academy of Sciences, Allahabad, India, and Indian Science Congress. His academic achievements, he is one of the renowned articulturists of our country, worked on vegetables, medicinal and aromatic plants, Morinda, Jetropha, Sebakthon, is from the oil yielding medicinal plant which is introduced in uh, Himachal Pradesh. Mushrooms, flowers, fruits, 
ornamental plants and landscaping. He can take credit for introducing and promoting seabuckthorn in India. His contribution in the areas of plant biotechnology, forestry, arbor horticulture, protector cultivation, greenhouses, and fruit and vegetable value addition is noteworthy. He is currently the president of Indian Society for Protected Cultivation India. Dr. Singh has published research articles in prestigious national and international journals of repute and also published two coffee table books on trees and roses of Rashtrapati Bhavan, New Delhi. Dr. Brahm Singh is the standing example to say that age is no bar to achieve. Let us all join hands, give him a grand applause for his immense contribution in the field of agriculture and thus in the Society of India. Yes, sir, all the congratulations. We wish him and his family and pray the Almighty to shower his blessings on his for his healthy, active, worthy years ahead. Dr. Brahma Singh is my senior colleague. We studied in the same university, GB Pandi University of Agriculture and Technology. It was called UPAU at that time, Uttar Pradesh Agriculture University. It's a great university, actually. The Tarei, you would have heard Tarei and Jim Corbett, Man Eaters of Commune. It is written by Jim Corbett. Jim Corbett Park is there. So those days, when uh, students are not really allowed to go out after 6.30, because ti real tigers are there in the forest. So Dr. Brahma Singh, in fact, uh, got groomed among tigers. Uh, so, uh, the, all these difficulties of life which we call, now we face uh, with smiles. A very dedicated man, very difficult for me to praise him before him, but uh, my heart tells about his commitment. Because we meet uh, in Delhi, in scientific societies, and for that matter, he is a fellow of national academies. The highest academy in India is in agriculture, is National Academy of Agricultural Sciences, New Delhi. He is a fellow of that. It is elected. It is not uh, just uh, by application. It is by elected, by research papers, and so and so forth. So he is a fellow of that uh, academy. Then from agriculture, he turned into defense. Very few people have succeeded in defense laboratories. There is an obvious reason of competition. When an agricultural scientist moves to space laboratory, or to defense laboratory, or to drug laboratory, or even to wellness industry, the competition is such a way that they don't allow actually to work. But here is an example where from scientist he occupied the position of a director in 12 laboratories in Bangalore, in Leh. I don't know how many of you have heard about Leh. It is the highest airport in the whole world. Leh airport is the highest, you know, in the altitude wise. When you go there, because of oxygen content in the air is less. Here in our, now where we are sitting, the oxygen content is good. But when we go higher and higher, oxygen content goes very low, very difficult to live. So there, he has worked, and not only worked, he has contributed very substantially to wellness. After this, uh, you know, his uh, services in uh, defense lab, he was in... Uh, uh, Tari Development Corporation, where I also worked. Because in Tari Development Corporation is a part of Pandanagar University. All the farmers, lakhs and lakhs, they come to Pandanagar University for seeds. Good quality seeds, planting material. So Tari Development Corporation was a model for National Field Corporation, for that matter. So, so he was there. 
as the managing director. And from there, he went to Rashtrapati Bhavan. And may God bless you to receive further awards like Padma Bhushan, Padma Vibhushan. But he will, can not become a Sachin. Sachin is difficult, you know, because there were many other things for Sachin. But he is a man of his own, not with any godfather. I wish you, sir, well. Thank you. Namade Parasriyar, Brahm Singh Avarkal. Brahma, Endal Padaitala Korea, Creator. So, in the Noni family, we have a creator of the Noni family. In this period, we have a Bhatmashi. I am very proud. Nampar Brahma Singh, inda kurumbat telu orang mukia mana anggam wai pawar, awal ke kredit terukum, Padma Sri patat terukum, awal ke mika parat telu. Achieving awards, getting awards, it's really a very rare occasion like Padma Sri. It's not a small achievement. As Professor Peter has pointed out, it's the fourth highest civilian award in our country. To achieve that, the contribution, whatever he made, it helped him a lot. In this occasion, I, on behalf of the World Noni Research Foundation, and also on my personal behalf and my family, and also Noni family, I extend my hearty congratulations and felicitation to sister. Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to talk to you on this occasion. I would congratulate Dr. Brahma Singh on this great uh, achievement. I think uh, more and more uh, laurels reach him and he also contributes and grows along with us. He should also help us in getting us more about Noni and also help us in spreading the message. Thank you. Ani Vanakkam. I thank you all and let me say Divine Noni Morning and I love you. She honor me to the extent on this Padam Shri. Before going to that, let me say one thing. Sir, I am indebted to you and the Noni family. When I joined this family, I was Dr. Brahm Singh. Now you all are addressing me, Padam Shri, Dr. Brahm Singh. So it is because of you all and your contribution and the well wishes of the uh, Noni family members and perhaps the effect of Divine Noni. And uh, wish wellness to Divine Noni and Divine Noni family and its inventor, great inventor, the founder, Professor P.I. Peter. Again, uh, many, many happy returns of the day to him. I say Nandri, Danyavad, Shukriya, thanks to one and all, and love you all. So Padmashri Brahm Singh, last year on this day, we felicitated Dr. Chadda. So he was given Padmashri. This year, another member, uh, Dr. Mahadevpa, who is our member of uh, Noni family. He uses Noni every day. He was Vice Chancellor at Dharwad. He has been given, he was Padma Shri earlier. He has been raised to Padma Vibhushan. So we wish Brahm Singh to be raised in time to come. And when he becomes Padma Bhushan, we will felicitate in a bigger way. I am proud of him. <laughs> 